Hello people, <clears throat> how's it going? And welcome back to the Domain Man's channel. I thought, um, because I didn't get my webcam the other day, um, I've decided to purchase a pair of trainers. Um, mainly because I needed a pair. <laughs> uh, my last trainers, well, you could say they're getting a little bit grubby. Um, and they're not in the greatest state. Um, when I bought them. Mind you, I have probably had these for a couple of years now and um, although they were comfy and all of that, um, trainers get to a point where they just get grubby and smelly and you just, the, um, the air system, if there is an air system in these, which it doesn't seem to be, but the cushioning just ends up going and the trainer just I don't know, breaks up and just becomes knackered. <laughs> um, that's a nice technical term. So I had to get rid of these things. And I ended up purchasing these. Now, these are um, Nike Lunar um, Converge. Lunar, Lunar, Lunar. Nike Lunar Converge uh, in black and silver. <coughs> um, you see, it's got uh, a a nice mesh on the front there. Um, it's a, an incredibly solid sole. Great cushioning on the heel area. Very solid. Solid all the way around. As a good trainer should be. Now, <coughs> this 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 isn't. Um, a this isn't a cross trainer. This is a running shoe, and it's 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 the weirdest running shoe that I've ever, uh, I've ever seen. Because when I used to work for Olympus Sport, and I used to sell these things. Um, I mean, although shoe, the trainers and boots and that, they, it it wasn't my department. I was on the equipment department, so I was in charge of um, tennis equipment, and golf equipment, and uh, snooker cues and all that kind of stuff. That's my area of expertise. But I do know about these because uh, we did receive training from the Nike representatives themselves. And we used to have the Nike reps and the Reebok reps come in <clears throat> and they give you a foundation in all about trainers. And so I, I needed to get these. I needed to get a new pair, basically. And <clears throat> I wasn't, I did see these, but I wasn't going to buy these immediately. I looked at another Nike pair um, and they were going for about £35 retail in Sports Direct right now um, and I also took these off of the shelf as well because you know what it's like when you're in there you know they're always going to have something not in your size you know out of stock all that kind of thing. So I thought if I pick a couple of pairs off, off of the shelves, then chances are they're going to have at least one of them in stock, hopefully. And they had this one in stock. The other one was out of stock. So I decided to go on these. I took it up to the till area and because it, this, this was sat on a shelf for 35 quid. Okay. And I thought, great, great trainer, great looking trainer for £35. I mean, you can't go wrong, you know. But they, they rang it in and they said, no, it's 48, 48 quid. So, so I had to pay the extra uh, um, uh, sort of 10 quid, basically. Um, um, 40, uh, yeah, five, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yes, thirteen pounds. So I thought, well, you know, it's only thirteen quid. I'm not going to hassle about it now because I'm only going to have to go back there and flaming hunt around for another trainer. That's going to take me another ten minutes or so, fifteen minutes, deciding on what I want. Then I'm going to have to wait another sort of twenty minutes or something ridiculous to be served, and all of this. I don't know what it is about retailers these days. They seem to operate on a skeleton staff, and it's not good enough. Quite frankly, it's not. As a former retail professional, I am. So, 
Um, <clears throat> I use my training from Olympus Sport and I saw these, I knew these immediately were quality and you can tell just by looking at the thing. These are incredibly light, I mean amazingly light, incredibly light, um, as a running shoe should be. Um, the difference between a running shoe and a cross trainer, I'm just trying to think back to my training, um, it's, it's all in the sole. Now, these aren't your standard running shoe soles, okay? Running shoe soles would have, um, would have little square, um, sort of, uh, what do you call them, um, pads. And you'll have several going along, along like that, and then there'll be some at the back as well. For some reason, all of that's gone out the window and has changed, because the idea being, when you had the small pads, um, I'm not sure if I've got them on these, uh, yeah, sort of, sort of, because they, these are running shoes as well, and these these are definitely two years old. Okay, it's this this is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, you see, um, let's get this. You see these little things here. Well, they, these these are pads. Okay, and the idea being, when you transfer your weight, okay, whether you're supinating or pronating. As you're putting force down, the, these pads open up and they grip, so you've got more surface on the pavement, tarmac, running track, whatever it is. So, uh, so <coughs> these will spread out. Um, but for some reason, in running shoes these days, they've they've changed all of that. Um, you have you have got pads there. These are definitely pads here for sure. They are. So I'm pushing into them right now and they're spreading out. So it looks like they've changed the design of these pads now. And instead of making lots of little ones, they make larger pads. Okay, so I, I did actually pick this up and I looked at the sole, the first thing I looked at, and I thought, this is weird, you know. This, I, I thought, this is more like a cross trainer. Um, and... Basically, the difference between a running shoe and a cross trainer is a cross trainer is, is like an all-purpose shoe. So you can use it for walking, not like hiking walking, but just sort of walking around and that kind of thing. You can use it as, uh, I don't know, just, just, just something to put on your feet, you know, where you're wearing a pair of jeans or something. Um, you can run in them. Um, I wouldn't advise you running in them for great distances. Um, because the cross trainers, they're a lot more stable and they're, they're a lot more bulky in design. Whereas your running shoe, incredibly, incredibly light, as they should be. You don't want extra weight on your feet if you're a serious runner or you're a club runner or something like that. Um, so as you see, it's a very nice design. Um, it's a very solid shoe indeed. It really is. It's incredibly solid, um, as it should be. Nice mesh on the front. Um, designs, um, very sort of trendy design. Um, all, of, all, all of these shoes, they seem to be a little bit thinner um, as, as you're coming towards the top of the toe area, which I think, I think is a good thing. You know, the shoe should be stylish, you know, and um, comes with laces, uh, obviously. And th these laces are quite good because they're not round. No, 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 they're not, they're not round laces. Um, so you can tie them quite effectively. Problem is with the round laces, they're very difficult to tie because they're too bulky. So I, I would usually recommend flat laces for all types of training shoe. In fact, for, for, for anything, okay? So, obviously, the Nike symbol. And, yeah, it's a very, very good, very, very nice, strong, light, lightweight shirt. And I thoroughly recommend that. This was 50, uh, original price is 59... Read it. Yeah, fifty 
Can't even see it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. 59.99, and that was reduced to 48 quid. So, that's an actual saving of 11 pounds, even though uh, they were stuck on a 35 pound um, shelf. But so, you know, I, I, this is the first time I've actually spent 50 ish, 50 quid on a pair of trainers. And usually, when I buy footwear, it's it usually ends up costing me around 70, 80 quid for a pair of shoes. But I bought a pair of shoes and they would cost me like about, I think they're about 60 or something. And they were well worth it because they were the most comfortable things I've ever worn in my life. Unbelievable shoes. So, you know, I, foot, foot, foot care is very important. You know, you've got to look after your, look after your, your, your feet, you know. And so, yeah, I thoroughly recommend these at £48. And I got, I got these from Sports Direct. They're, 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 they're a massive sort of... It's, it's more like a warehouse when you walk in, actually, than it is a store. Um, there's a massive one near us. And it's, it's always packed, absolutely packed in there, you know. So, you know, it's a great shoe. Very comfortable, lightweight, very durable, sturdy. Very good support. Excellent support with, with this particular trainer. Okay. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it up there. I want to say thank you very much for uh, tuning in and listening to my, another one of my reviews. And, um, you know, I want you to know that I only review products that I purchase myself and that I'm happy to purchase myself. You know, because that way I, I can test them out myself and, and then I can let you know you know, what the shoe is really, really like, okay? You also talk to a professional salesperson as well. Plus, I used to work for Olympus Sport International, so I'm trained in all this stuff. So I really, really do know what I'm on about compared to all the other people that claim that they do, but they really don't. Um, so, you know, if I ever talk about shoes or footwear or anything like that, you know you're talking to the number one guy for reviews, Okay. I have a solid re retail background in many areas, everything from sports retail to office supplies. Um, um, I did, I've, I've done a lot of um, customer services type work, um, held six management positions. So, you know, I really do know my stuff. So, you know, I can tell you 100%, this is a beautifully constructed shoe. Um, beautiful it really is really is comfortable i wore it for about five minutes and it's just so light on my feet compared to what i was wearing before you know um but maybe, maybe trainers have just got lighter um but no this is just an incredibly incredibly light shirt it's, it's really beautiful um it's a, it's a very cool shirt people it really is good so i'm going to leave it there I want to thank you very much for tuning in to another one of my videos. And, um, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Cheers. Catch you next time.